We have an amazing problem in medicine right now. Doctors and scientists have developed numerous treatments for all sorts of diseases. However, there's still the issue of how do we get the treatment to the disease. Commonly, we normally deliver treatments through the mouth or through IV. But this is similar to trying to burn down an entire forest when you really only want to target one singular plant. A common type of disease that I specifically focus on is chronic bone infections. This is where a bacterium gets inside of your bone and establishes a nasty infection in there. So what we do is we are trying to develop a material using simple compounds, mixing them together while they're cold, turning it into a new type of material that while it's cold, it is a liquid, but then once it warms up to body temperature, it turns into a solid. So while it's at this cold liquid state, we can mix various treatments. Specifically, what we use is antibiotics because we're trying to treat an infection. After we have mixed this, we allow it to warm to body temperature and turn into a solid. Like with any good medical treatment or medication, you want to prove it on multiple levels, both inside a laboratory setting and even inside of a living animal model. So what we have done is we have taken our treatment and challenged it against Staphylococcus aureus inside of our laboratory setting. Inside the lab setting, we have proven not only does this material work with the antibiotic, but it actually improves the antibiotic's ability to kill Staphylococcus aureus. Once we have gotten good results inside the laboratory setting, we then moved on to an animal model. By establishing a chronic bone infection in their femur, we then treat the infection with our material. While it's inside the animal combating this infection, we take multiple metrics or measures to see how the infection is progressing. We take x-rays because it's inside the bone, as well as blood samples to see how the immune system is responding. In both the x-rays and the immune system, we have shown that the material decreases the immune response, as if the body is getting help fighting the infection. At the end of the study, we then take the amount of bacteria and actually count how much there is in there. Through the use of our material, we have shown that it is significantly reducing the bacterial burden inside of the bone. All of this being said, we hope this material becomes more commonplace as it can increase the amount of treatment delivered to the disease or infection while also reducing the burden on the body and hopefully getting rid of those nasty side effects.